So I just went into the Tim Hortons there, use their bathroom. I was gonna get a cup of tea, but I decided, eh, why bother? Uh, you know, there's no soy milk, so that was good. I could have had a uh, peppermint. Um, by the way, you like my new hat? Gray and white. Summer's coming, and, um, you know, the black hat gets a little hot in the summer, so this will do me probably till, I don't know, September, October. I'll probably be all dirty and greasy and sweaty by then. And I'll get out of the black hat. Anyway, back to the Tim Hortons. The bathroom, they only give you like one square sheet of toilet paper at a time. You have to grab and grab and grab. It's like, man, that was not a pleasant experience. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. Anyways, uh... This video, I'm going to be talking about some work I've done on my floor. So I hope you enjoy. Well, 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 what do we have here? My new floor. I bought this, this four packs of, uh, I don't know, it's about 70 square feet altogether for 50 bucks off Craigslist. And it's good stuff. It's the uh, made in Belgium, not junk, like that other stuff I had in the video previously. So what I like about this is that uh, it's kind of high dirt. I think pretty good. Um, I had to put a screw in here because this piece was giving me trouble, and I needed to show it who is boss. I am boss, no bugger. I could have probably, I mean, I still got a pack left, I didn't use it all, but the under the bed part still needs to be finished, I guess, or does it, I don't know. So that's another project for another time. And because this wall isn't lined up with this one, uh, all we got here is a crooked line. So you can see here it's fairly straight, not perfect. But then, uh oh, what happened? Got a little problem. But that's okay, no big deal. So the next step I have to do is put the uh, threshold stuff here and over there so it doesn't get wrecked. So, uh, what's happening here is I'm extending the floor, and I shall tell you why. If you see this space right here, between uh, here and over there somewhere, I need to feed my heater in there. Let's see if I can show you. It's about 12 inches, approximately. and. It's kind of awkward to hold it, but before it wasn't going to fit. You just have to trust me on that. So, because um, my goal was I was trying to make the wall shorter than this so that I didn't have to deal with this gap problem with the uh, sliding door rail. So in order to avoid, well, there's no way I can avoid that. I'm just going to have to work around it somehow. But in order to make the heater work there, to give enough clearance, I have to make this floor longer. And, uh, hopefully it works out. Before the YouTube police get me, I had to unplug the music because, uh, I don't know if you watched that mo that video I made a couple weeks ago with all that jazz music on it. Well, YouTube said, uh, 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 I can't do that. So if I ever hook up my AdSense, I will get no money from that video. But the artist or one particular song in that video will. Oh well, no big deal. So, got the floor completed. Yahoo. 
So what I did here is I took this, uh, I don't know what this is, about 3 8 piece of oak and I cut it in half and then I took this thick piece, I don't know if you can see it from here, it's about three quarters of an inch, actually, well an inch, it's probably an inch thick. And I screwed it in there and put some aluminum on the top and I'm going to uh, polyurethane it and that's going to be my little step in threshold thing so the floor doesn't get wrecked in this spot. Now the next step, you can see I left the gap here. This is two inches and three quarters and I intend to have two inches of insulation here and then just like the back, which you can't really see, well I guess you can, move this cable. Uh, tongue and groove in the back, I'm going to do that as much as I can throughout the van, including this spot right here. So that stuff is three quarters of an inch thick. So I'm hoping it'll fit perfectly right under here. It's a two inch piece of two by four, which isn't really two inches. But I'll cut it to fit and then tongue and groove over that. See how she goes. So, put in this stud, um, and uh, looks like it's pretty straight, more or less, hopefully. And I know it's an inch, or it's two inches, because it's a two by four, which is an inch and a half this way, and that's one inch piece of plywood. I don't know why they call it a two by four when it's not two by four. It's 1.5 by 3.5. Why they call it a 2x4 is beyond me. Anywho, uh, yeah, so the insulation's gonna go on there. And that'll be the next step for that wall. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do step by step, little bit by little bit, um, to build it out because, uh, you know, obviously I'm living in here and I got stuff everywhere. And I can't really buy a bunch of materials at once. So, easy does it. A little bit at a time. I don't know how I'm supposed to build around this part because the sliding door, this little piece right here, goes right in this track all along and up through there. So I'm thinking of just building it across here but and then up. But then how do I make the door? I don't know. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. Um, what I am going to do is I decided, I couldn't decide a, which way to make the door open, but I decided to make the door open this way. That way on the rare, well not rare, I got about from May till October when we get nice weather. And in that period of time, it's nice to have the door open. And uh, if the door is open like this, that means I can get all that fresh air coming in this way. Whereas if it's open the other way, then I think I'll get less air, but I also have to fit the heater there. Let's just see how this works out here. Get over here, you. Of course, this is this wall. The wall will be flush to this, so I know it'll probably fit in here, but it's not supposed to anyway. It's supposed to go out a bit like this. So. Actually, it's probably going to be closer this way. As long as I can get the hose that's coming out here, the propane hose is going to come out and go up. And it's going to be about four inches off the ground for the right clearance. Since heat rises, it's better to have it closer to the ground, I think. As long as I have the clearances right. But yeah, this door is going to be a bugger. I don't know how to do it. I have to think about it. Worst case scenario, take it apart. Think on it some more and do it again. Well, here's what I'm having for dinner tonight. Got a can of uh, vegetable garden stag chili, vegetarian chili. Bun. Got olive oil in it, apparently. Olive oil in it, apparently. And yeah, a little banana. There we go. Dinner is ready. Oh, and
and I uh, never showed you the um, the doorway entrance. I did the same thing over here, over there. Alright guys, that about does it for this one. Thanks for watching, take care, have a great day.